we continue on discussing uh, some of the topics from the free body problem and in particular uh, the question of what do you do if you're worried about somebody who's in the black domain or the tri-solar system heading out towards you to try and take you over or to threaten you or so forth or how do you do that so in one scenario you try and convince them you're harmless and you put yourself in this black hole domain where you reduce the speed of light, which also makes you go slower, much of other things happen. Or the other is what happens when you see that the, tri the trisolarians have launched their ships and then, you know, some number of years they're going to be coming into the solar system to try to take over the Earth so they can move their civilization there. And, right, what, what do you do in those cases? I think in both of those cases, you're in a lot of trouble. <laughs> you're really difficult. That's why you want to be careful who you're communicating with, whether it's good people who are in desperate need of a new home or bad people who just like to take over everything. Not everybody out there may be fully enlightened and behaving on, the, on top ethical grounds. So you have to think carefully of the various consequences of what's going on. But if a society is advanced enough to send things to destroy your science, so you can't make advances in science, and then launch a large number of ships towards you, you you're gonna have you're gonna have difficulties. And the best thing you can do is prepare right yourself to be able to resist or, or whatever. But the fact is it may be the society is so much more advanced that its tools are able to overwhelm you completely. Now Presumably, this is the Trisolarians wanted to take over the Earth as a good environment. They won't destroy the surface of the complete surface of the Earth and take away the oxygen, which some advanced societies might be quite capable of doing. And uh, so, they may be limited that they don't want to cause great great damage. But it's difficult unless you can learn something about them, and you can develop your science and your technology so that you have defensive weapons to protect yourself, you could have a serious problem. Now, trying to take your solar system and make it a black hole by telling everybody else that we're, we're harmless, we're not gonna come out, and we're gonna slow the speed of light down so much, even if you come in here, it'll take you forever to get here. It's, it's a messy, difficult thing to do, but also, it screws up. Your, it's going to screw up your planetary system orbits. You know, you can't just change the speed of light and not change other things. You, you're going to have a huge impact. And so, thinking about what to do, it's difficult. What you need to do is either have allies who balance off the evil guys, so and you agree to some partition of resources, and so that they all come out ahead, and that it's like. There was balance of power in Europe, but whoever was the being the stronger power, England would ally with the weaker power so to keep the balance of power in Europe to try and keep some stability in what's going on. You you need some kind of a federation or some kind of of galactic governance that would keep civilizations from just going out and wiping out other civilizations. You'd have to have that kind of a, a thing. If if you have to, as a young civilization, to feed off really advanced civilizations with tremendous technology and weapons, you're, you're facing a really poor future. And so the question is, how should we proceed to do that? And the answer is, we've got to learn to understand ourselves and understand our abilities, understand science more deeply. And when the time comes, then we can contact other alien civilizations and maybe make treaties and alliances with them, still having to be careful. My feeling is sending information out now willy-nilly, that yeah, here I am, here I am, <laughs> is probably a mistake because you don't know who's gonna come, you know, as a result of your call. You can hope the first person, the first being that shows up is from the Galactic Alliance and they welcome you in. But somehow you have to show you you're worthy of being in the Galactic Alliance and worthy of uh, that you're going to behave and do the laws. If, if you're misbehaving and having wars on the earth and destroying things, that, that doesn't really make you a good candidate for being in the Galactic Alliance. 
makes you a good candidate for being an outlaw. Civilization and therefore be cut off. So I think it requires some good, clear thinking about what the opportunities are and what's going to go on. We may be very fortunate that the amount of life in our galaxy is fairly small, so it's a long time before another civilization will run across us.